Hi guys, so this is my yard and this is what I am working on right now. I have some plants that I just got yesterday and I'm going to be putting them in the ground. We're doing a little bit of renovation out here. Sorry for the mess. Um, so in the morning, usually one of the first things that I do is come out here and tend to these grumpy chickens. Looks like we have one naughty bird who got out. Come here, Betsy. Come here, it's okay. It's okay. Give me your baby. Sometimes they break out, so we have a temporary netting. We did free range our birds at one point, but we had an issue with hawks. Um, and we don't like hawks because hawks eat our chickens. And we don't like that. Um, so free ranging is not an option, unfortunately. So we have this temporary netting. And I'm sorry, we don't get a free range, even though we want a free range. And we sometimes escape, even though we want to. So this is what we do in the morning. We come out and say hi to our babies. Um, we have ducks and we have chickens. And you see, this is sort of my hobby, um, along with gardening. So I'll come out and say hi and let them out and see, catch any escapees. So yeah, say hi Buzzbeak. Hi Buzzbeak. <laughs> Off to the studio. <laughs> so this is a typical Monday. We're about halfway through our orders. And what we do is we stack our invoices with um, our bubble mailers and we keep all of our boxes stacked up like this and have a sort of production lineup so we can easily um, pack everything and do everything pretty quickly. We have all of our rings organized in these drawers so everyone can grab the size pretty quickly. Um, we have some of our earrings paired up here and our pieces and components. As you can see, we sold a lot of earrings over Valentine's Day, but we keep everything organized and easy to grab. These are some of our new styles and these are some of our rings. This is how we keep everything organized. So you can see. So when a new order comes in, Sandy will write it down on a list and then she will send it to production where the team will start making the pieces. Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> Olivia is our opal princess <laughs> or opal queen. She is our opal sorter. <laughs> and this is a very small percentage of our opals, believe it or not. <laughs> and what she does is she grades our opals and sorts them and polishes them. And what she's doing right now is selecting only the very, very best for our opals. Like this size. That's what a good size okay. so then I'll I mean if down. it is between like this and like what do you what's gonna I don't know yeah, yeah. okay cool as the I'll biggest do, though yeah. as the biggest like this is a so Joanna is currently picking out earrings to be shipped out yay <laughs> okay so this is where we paint the conductive paint on our rings so basically what we do is we paint copper paint around the gemstones and this creates or makes our rings conductive which means we can run electricity through it to grow the metal setting around the gemstone which is what creates that beautiful metal setting around the gemstone and I will show you all later what that looks like and this is stephanie and her beautiful nails <laughs> as y'all can see and that that is the secret the secret to the beautiful painting is the is the manicure of course <laughs> and here's some beautiful amethyst that she is sorting for the amethyst rings so after stephanie will paint the conductive paint on our beautiful oval we send our pieces to our scary the electroforming dungeon <laughs> and then what we do is we put our pieces in our super scary solution which will start to grow the beautiful copper around our opals so as you can see over about a day several hours the copper will build up this solid metal crust using electricity isn't that cool? And we control our electricity over here. And we carefully monitor it every few hours or so. 
using this cool little solution. This is, after we electroform, we have to, sometimes things are a little crunchy or a little bit sharp, and we have to do a little hand touch up with our tools. So we go in and we fine tune the shape and hand sculpt using this little hand tool. So this is an opal pendant and maybe the shape is no good, so Benita will go in and change that and make it a little bit prettier using this hand tool. Or she'll polish it or do something else and make it a little less sharp or prettier. Yeah. Cool. After that, we bring our pieces in here where Benita uses magic and science to apply gold and silver to our pieces. And then after Benita is finished gold plating or silver plating, she brings new designs into my my office to be gold or to be photographed for Instagram or for Etsy page and these pieces are ready for our model tomorrow for a photo shoot so these are all brand new designs that you guys haven't seen yet well these this one I posted I've posted that one I've not posted that one I have not posted these guys. These guys are brand new. Those are pink sapphire. So yeah, these are all brand new pieces. And that's kind of the gist of what we do. Yeah. So today I am making a mood board with my giant creepy scissors. Yay. So I decided to put my pictures on the door and I found some birds. Look. So here is my mood board work in progress. And so as you can see, I'm looking for inspiration for my photos mostly and some jewelry inspiration. And maybe it's a little bit for Instagram, but mostly lighting for photos. So that's a little bit of behind the scenes of my day at Greencraft. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Maybe I'll do it again. Let me know what you think. Bye.